Hi, this is Charles Haley, five-time Super Bowl champ. And my name is Lori Lynch, Senior Vice President, Customer Success for my station. And we want to welcome you to our reading series called iStation Reads in partnership with Tackle Tomorrow. Charles and I are excited to introduce this amazing reading series where you're going to hear from a lot of personalities reading iStation books. We'll ask you some questions at the beginning of each story and by the end we'll follow up to see if you've got the right answers. So join us for each episode. You'll see us on iStation's YouTube channel. If you love it, share us on social media. We look forward to working with you, and as Charles always says, It doesn't matter where you start, it's where you finish. You're so right, Charles. Okay, everybody, let's get started. Hi, my name is Osa Fisher, and I'm the President and Chief Operating Officer of iStation. It's a pleasure to be here today, and an even greater pleasure to introduce you to Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson. Eddie Bernice Johnson has a lot of firsts in her history. She's been serving Texas since 1993, and she was the very first registered nurse elected to Congress. Also, she was the first black woman ever elected to public office from Dallas. Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson cares a lot about education, and I particularly enjoy this quote that she uh, has said about education. Our second phase was to develop a school curriculum that teaches tolerance, respect for differences, conflict resolution, anger management, and other attributes of peace. Let's listen to our Congresswoman as she reads a book to us. When we do listen to her and hopefully read along, let's think about a few questions about a big sneeze. The first question, did mom tell Claire that you can see germs? A simple yes or no answer would be great. Second question, what item do germs not like? Third question, a germ is a bug that makes us feel ill. What other words might you use for the word ill? All right, let's begin. Listen closely and I'll come back at the end of the book to revisit these questions. See you soon. Hello, I am Eddie Bernice Johnson. I represent the 30th District of Texas, which is all in Dallas County. And I have represented uh, that district now since 1993. I don't ever forget that I was a nurse before I went to Congress. And so I have chosen to read today a story that's related to health, and it is called The Big Sneeze. And it's about Claire. Claire does not feel well. She gives a big sneeze. She wipes her red nose and she says, my nose hurts and she moans. Mom sits on the bed beside Claire. She sets her hand on Claire's face. Germs can make you ill, Mom tells Claire. You will get well, she adds. Germs? What are germs, asks Claire. Mom tells her, a germ is a bug that makes you feel ill. What are germs, asks Claire. Germs get inside us. They come and go from place to place. Mom tells Claire they could be on the clock or any other object. Claire gives a big sneeze. There are a lot of germs in a sneeze, Mom said. Claire wipes her red nose. I do not see a lot of germs, she tells her mom. You cannot see drunk germs. They are sly. Germs stir in the breeze. When you sneeze, they go into the breeze, Mom tells Claire.
What will stop germs, she asked. Germs do not like soap. You must keep your hands clean, Mom adds. Gives Claire a big sneeze. Another big sneeze? What will stop the sneeze? She runs to the sink. I need to clean my hands with soap, yells Claire. Well, it's been a delight to share the story of Claire and a few germs. Keep in mind that when you know you're gonna be sneezing, stay away from others, cover that sneeze, wash those hands and stay healthy. I'm a nurse, but I serve in Congress. Nurses are needed in Congress because we need the health background to make good health policy. I'm delighted to have spent this few minutes with you, and I hope to see you sometime soon. Okay, did you like the book? I did, A Big Sneeze. We're going to remind you of the questions we asked in the beginning and give you a second to think about them. If you need a little bit more time after I ask the questions, just hit the pause button because when we go to the next section, we'll share with you the answers. So remember the questions. Number one, did mom tell Claire that you can see germs? Yes or no? Number two, what item do germs not like? Question three, a germ is a bug that makes us feel ill. What other words might you use for the word ill? All right, you ready for the answers? Number one, the answer is yes. Claire's mom told her that you cannot see germs. If you said no, you're correct. What item did germs not like? If you said soap, you got it. Number three, what other words are there for ill? A lot of people use words like sick, ailing, unwell, sickly, infirmed, afflicted, but there are many others. So check with your parent to see if you got some right. Thanks so much and hope to see you at another reading series soon. Bye now. Lori here again. Thanks again for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the story. Remember, tune into our iStation YouTube channel to check out iStation Reads. If you love us, share us on social media. Hope to see you again real soon.